Do you know how you have to do for writing a canon at the upper fourth in a few minutes? No problem, I am here on purpose for this. You take paper and pen, carefully follow this video and start composing loads of canon, thanks to the narrow composition. Composition makes neuroscience an incredible cutting-edge method for learning composition thanks to passive learning. After music, my greatest passion is neuroscience because only if you know how the mind works, you can use it to its full potential. Thanks to the numerous high-level studies I have carried out in the field of the mind, in particular with the writings of Napoleon Hill, Joseph Murphy, Russell Conwell, Joe Vitale, Dale Carnegie, Carol Dweck, Navy Goddard, and above of all, HCE, Human Connection Engineering, an excellence world championship of the Italian house of the functioning of the mind by Paolo Brasacchiello and Luca Mazzilli, I have created this super effective method that allows you to learn composition in a passive way. How does it work? Take a pen and paper, watch the video and copy everything I write exactly step by step. I guide you by staying close to you, in every single passage, in every solution, in every technique. You learn by assimilation. Even if you don't understand everything right away is not a problem. Working with me through this method, after several exercises you will already have developed remarkable skills. In fact, you are not learning through rules, but thanks to your mirror neurons which take each piece of information as a seed and plant it in your subconscious mind. Over time, will make them sprout, transforming composition from an intellectual act to a natural action. Enjoy this experience at the highest level. Download the PDF I created for you directly from my Patreon page. Thanks to this PDF you practice on the same terrain that I work on with you in this video, because this will allow you to lay a solid foundation in counterpoint and composition. I still underline the importance of copying exactly step by step everything I write. In fact, only in this way you can learn thanks to the subconscious learning that impresses in your mind in a more effective way. If you receive the same stimulus at the same times from all your senses, view, watching this video and writing, hearing, listening to the result of what we wrote, touch, writing yourself on the paper and also smell and taste if, after you wrote the canon, you want to snort or eat the shit. I remind you to join my Patreon, where you can find the PDF that I write here now with you, and many new amazing and stratospheric videos of improvisation elements every week. Well, now that you have paper and pen, let's take our fantastic tabula compositoria and let's start with the video. Canon at the upper fourth. This type of canon is a little bit challenging because we have more limitations, but with your knowledge at this point about canons, it will not be so hard. Now follow me step by step, write with me, and it will be really simple. Now, as we used to do with the canons, the most important thing and the, the first thing to do is to know what will be what will be all the consonances on the next note in the in our canon so upper fourth is here this is our first note in the dux and this is our second the first note in the commas this is the same note of the dux but in the commas now what are all the consonances then of the g so we have obviously the three the five the six the eight and we can have here the 3 in this point and the 5 here. So, thanks to this table, we can now write all our table with all the consonances. So, we have, we don't have the unison, as you can see, because the unison G, DG is a, a fourth. We have we have here so the second up we have the second we have the six minor according to the recent tradition then we have we have also the upper fourth yes i forgot it because it is a unison so the fourth the six then we have the descending three, the 
descending second, sorry, first of all. Then we have the descending three, D and B, so three. And then we have the descending fifth. Perfect. The octave is possible only ascending because the octave down is D, so a fourth. Okay, this is our table. As you can see, we don't have the unison because the unison is like the octave, so it, um, it, makes, it makes a fourth. Now, with this scanner, we have two problems with two kinds of motion. The first kind of motion that can make trouble with in our successions is when we have second followed by another second, uh, so mo two or more than two seconds in the descending direction. Now, let's write the situation. For example, let's start with uh, E. E, D, and C. We have second and second. And another note, B. Okay, this is our dux. Now let's write our commas. So the upper fourth on the E is an A. We have five. And then we have five. And then we have five again. So in this way, if we use second plus another second, we create this parallel fifth. So remember that we can't use in the canon at the upper fourth two times the, the um, succession two and two, or obviously more than two times. So remember this, the other wrong succession we have in the canon at the upper fourth is the following one. That is when we have four last four ascending. Be careful to don't write, for example, C, or better, D, G, and D, because look what happens. We start a dux with G, and the next note will be another C. So we have parallel unisons. And these, these are the reasons we can make this movement. Four, fourth plus fourth, and two plus two. Fourth, fourth plus fourth ascending and two followed by another two descending. Okay, now with these rules we can go on to the our to our step that is writing the structure. So we have here the structure. So let's write the treble clef. Yeah, let's write it here. In this way we have more space after. Now let's start with an ascending fourth, so D and G. It means that we can't now play another ascending fourth. Let's follow this ascending fourth by the descending second. Okay, we can't have now another ascend descending second. And now another fourth up. It works. And now let's check other intervals. So third down is possible. So third down in this way. Then we have fourth up. Yes, is it, po it is possible. Then I want, for example, a fifth down yes we can write the fifth down we can do it then i want a second up we can and then another second down and we can in both cases because they are ascending and then descending not two times descending perfect and this is our structure The next step of our work is obviously writing the structure here on the dux and then realizing the verification on the commas. Let's start with the dux. So we have our structure D, G, F, B flat, G, right, yeah, then C. C, then we have F, then we have G, and then we, and then we have the last F. 
And now let's write diminutions and conjunctions. So I start this way, then I put this note, the E, okay? Then I want to play, to write this passage for connecting these two notes. Yeah. Maybe this is better. Good, net. Then we can do this. So, yeah. In this way. Okay, another time. Starting pattern, and then we can finish in this simple way. Okay, now let's play our canon and with diminutions. And it works, perfect. And now let's write this melody in the commas. So G, F, so uh, C, sorry, uh, mm, okay, B flat, a fourth up, right, E flat, okay, now here natural E because of the fourth leap. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah. Maybe for, for finishing the can better, we can play also another diminution here in this way. Yeah. And here we install now our cadence to F in this way. Hmm. Let's sound. Let's listen how it sounds. point this is a passing tool so it works okay actually this figuration is not so correct in the Renaissance style because we have this fourth that is a distance we live with a leap so we can for example use another figuration that could be better if you want to respect some counterpoint rules so for example mm -mm. okay this is better Let's check if this passage works here because we have to change also the previous part in this case. Yeah, it works. Okay, and in this way our canon works. We have the cadence that is 8. Seven, six, eight. Perfect. And now let's play it from the beginning, and our canon will be complete. And 
and perfect this is our beautiful canon at the upper fourth remember that you can download and find a lot of material about these topics and more other on my youtube channel and on my patreon where you can really get access to a lot of contents you can't find here on youtube so see you on patreon and on my community discord party mates if you have been watching this video up to the end, I bet you too are fascinated by the world of partimenti, improvisation and historical composition. For us musicians of the 21st century, it's important and fundamental to know these techniques and the way in which the great master of the past used them artfully to compose the extraordinary music we play today. If you master these patterns, you can better understand and interpret what you play. You can compose new music based on these patterns and you can improvise new music from scratch because you know the grammar of this musical language. For that I created Improvisation Elements, a set of several improvisation exercise videos for each of which you can download a PDF to practice whenever you want. Improvisation Elements is an ambitious project and is reserved for those who support my work on Patreon. Every week I upload new Improvisation Elements videos on different topics, sequences, scales, cadences and more. All these videos are organized at the following page. So now subscribe a membership on Patreon, choose the exercise you want to practice and become an improviser.